Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. So today I'm actually on the side of the road right now. Um, quite literally, I'm on the side of the road. Um, this is a, I believe, is a 50s era GMC Suburban. Now, before we get into this, I would like to say this. If you could please go hit that subscribe button as well as like this video, I would super appreciate it. I have a goal. And that goal is to reach a minimum of 25,000 subscribers in the year 2021. But I would love to see 50,000. And if it goes further than that, that would be amazing. But yeah, let's get right into this. This is, um, I think it's a 50s era. Mid 50s, maybe. Uh, GMC Suburban panel truck. I believe that's what it's called, if I remember correctly. Now, these plates are from 76, so that says this vehicle has not been on the road since 76. That was from before they uh, just put stickers on the plate and they actually... You guys are so disrespectful, I'm trying to make a video here. Why did I have to drive on the road that I'm on the side of? <laughs> um, this one has... It says 9430 on it, but look at the font. That's such cool looking font. A lot of rust on it though. The chrome amazingly is all here though. It's rough, but it's there. Now that being said, the rockers are uh, not so much. David J. Burns something or other. Maybe the other side's better. It was stick shift of course, and there is no floor left in this thing. You can see it, the floor is just gone. And it had a lot of body work done to it. This is all Bondo back here. So they did try to genuinely save it, but they didn't do it the right way. Bondo and fiberglass mesh. Nice. Not how you do body work. You can see the plates on this back still. It's actually in good shape on the back. Now inside of it, there isn't really a whole lot. It's just some baskets. This is a farm right here. So my assumption is this was an old farm truck, but uh, it was definitely been cobbled. That's for sure. <laughs> the fender wells are just falling right off of it. And it looks like they drilled a ton of holes in this just to patch it up. But this side, the fiberglass reinforcement, or whatever they did, was falling right off. And you can see the fiberglass literally separating right there. There's nothing left at the bottom of this thing. This is totally, completely unrestorable. I lied. It's missing a little bit of chrome. Yeah. Fiberglass and Bondo. <laughs> door doesn't open of course uh, David Burns again D Burt Fawn Hill so this is a local truck to here or S or I don't know what it is would it be called a wagon back in its day or would it be an SUV or a truck I don't know that's a really confusing thing because SUVs weren't really a thing back then, but look at the attention to detail. That's the key slot. Of course, it's seized in. I can't get it to open, but that's the key slot, I think. But look at that, though. This just cool. Like, you just don't see these around at all. They're honestly, I've seen them rotted worse than this. So, yeah. Your gas tank's here. I imagine the gas tank sat on the outside of the frame, which nowadays would not pass. Definitely not allowed nowadays. And um, I actually don't know what's, what would be under the hood of this. I don't know if it's open or not, though. It is. And it is a straight engine. A straight one, two, three, four, five, six. So, tell me, guys. What would this be? Has an old oiled filter. 
I'm pretty sure that's an oiled filter. And weird looking horns. Now, what is this over here? The big shot. Windshield washer fluid. Huh. I don't know, that's, so that's how their windshield washer came in bags. Interesting. They use bottles nowadays, but I can appreciate it. Hmm. Neat find though. The lens is it's just such a cool body style. And I think this is what the HHR was themed off of, but unfortunately the HHR kind of missed the mark. Um Yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. And please also hit that subscribe button because, well, my goal of a minimum of 25,000 subscribers this year and, well, 50,000 if I really, is really, really what I would like to see. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.